The UK Ministry of Defense is actually grinding up old fighter jets and using what's left to build their next generation Tempest fighter. And while that might sound crazy, it actually points towards some incredible new ways to recycle old aircraft while reducing the nation's reliance on foreign sourced materials. Now, I first got into 3D printing after I visited Hermius's Atlanta factory, where they were literally 3D printing components for their hypersonic aircraft using titanium dust and powerful lasers. It's a great way to rapidly iterate designs, and down the road could also represent a much lower cost approach to production. But of course, in order to print high quality titanium, steel, or aluminum parts, you need that raw material to feed into your printer. And that's where the UK's Tornado to Tempest program comes in. Rather than just scrapping old Tornado GR4s that were retired from active service in 2019, and then sourcing all the high quality raw materials needed for the new Tempest Fighter program from foreign nations, the Brits are just yanking parts off those old tornadoes and feeding them into an industrial grinder to produce a metal powder that they call feedstock. Now that can then be used by an industrial 3D printer to produce new components for new fighters. Now in testing so far, tornado engine compressor blades were cleaned up, ground up, and then used to 3D print a new nose cone and compressor blades for the small engine that Rolls-Royce has in testing to mature technologies for the Tempest program. Now that engine, called Orpheus, then went on to pass all suitability and safety tests with those 3D parts included. In the future, that same process can be used for steel and aluminum parts as well, which means reducing waste, having to mine and produce fewer raw materials, and also helping to ensure the UK and its allies don't find themselves too reliant on the global supply chain for future defense endeavors. Now, construction on the first Tempest Technology Demonstrator began last year, and the UK, Italy, and Japan are hoping to see it make its first test flight in 2026, with the goal of getting these fighters into service by 2035.